for Coffee with Corey, brewed in part by Kroger. I always look forward to these. First of all, no, we didn't know this was going to happen. I love <laughs> how that organically happens because when that just means we're on the same page, and I love when we're on same the same page. page. Yes. Like, absolutely. <laughs> all right, time for Coffee with Corey. Yeah, so good morning, everybody. Uh, calling it unjust and a significant blow online, American gymnast Jordan Childs has been ordered to return one of her medals from the Paris Olympics. So Childs initially finished fifth in the eight women uh, final before the Team USA appealed Childs a score, asking to receive credit for a maneuver, more of a difficulty that would boost her score. Well, the appeal was granted, moving Childs into third. Well, she was awarded the bronze and participated in the medal ceremony following the competition, but Romania protested, and now their gymnast will be awarded the bronze during the ceremony later today. Well, the 23-year-old Childs, who will return to competition in January when she starts her junior year at UCLA, has also been subject to social Social media attacks, some of them racially charged. USA Gymnastics has said it will continue efforts to let Childs keep the medal. I am so confused right now. And I know that she kind of backed off social media and everything. Like you go through all of that, and then there's always like, the, it was the scoring for the difficulty. Right. But then also it was like, oh, your coach didn't get to the 60 second. And then it was like, we did. We showed you th we were 13 we were seconds early. ahead. <laughs> and it was just like, what a mess. So they're still going to like appeal it. I mean, I mean, or whatever you can do next, they're still going to try to yeah. get the bronze back. For she her. was shorted her points. She didn't get the points for the difficulty. She should have gotten those points. There is no reason. I just don't even understand this at all. It's so confusing. I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so moving on. Our next story is always about soccer. We love talking about soccer. Oh, yeah. I know, right? So the University of Memphis women's soccer team is back in the headlines after winning their first match of the season. So the victory over Alabama A&M last night also marked the 300th win for head coach Brooks Monaghan. What? Yeah, so he joins a list of 45 Division I women's soccer coaches to win 300 career games, and he is one of 17 to reach the milestone with the same Division I program. Monaghan also took over the U of M's women's soccer program uh, heading into the 2000 season and 14 league championships, 12 NCAA tournament berths, and 300 wins later, he's molded the program into a national brand. He also earned a conference, he, conference coach of the year distinction four times, including, of course, last year. Next up for the women's soccer team, Memphis will hit the road this weekend and take on Missouri on Sunday, August 18th at 7 p.m. That is a stellar program. I'm just so glad we're shining a light on it because I mean, I just didn't know. We did know. it all last year because they I were just know. doing phenomenal, right? Yeah. And so going into this new season, please go out and cheer them on because they are phenomenal. And I could watch soccer morning, noon, and night. I just love it. I just <laughs> Because love you it. play it. That's I so cool it. I in watch real my son life. I play it. Like, I, no matter what age, I will watch because it's just such a fun game. Oh okay, my gosh, so congrats. moving on to our final story uh, Dr. Dre is planning to play a major role in the LA 2028 Olympics but not in the way you may think. Okay, so you saw him performing alongside Snoop Dogg during the Paris to LA handoff ceremony over the weekend, right? But in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, the rap star and music mogul shared that he wants to compete in the next summer game. So Dr. Dre says he's serious about trying out for the US archery team, and he's pretty good too. So he video posted on his Instagram stories show him hitting the bullseye. Dre says that he's been practicing at the distance about 90 feet from the target, but he'll have to up his game because uh, at the Olympics, archers shoot at a distance of, well, more than 200 feet. So you got to back it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but back I think that thing be so cool. up, Dr. Troy. I mean, he has to that? double his distance. That's, I mean, <laughs> I love it though. It's just bring it shining a light. So yeah, we're going to be checking that out. Yeah, yeah, it'll keep people. Um, Something to look forward to. Sure. <laughs> oh, you're just like, well, no, it's sure. just that it's 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 a very big thing to say you're going to do. But I like that at any age you can still try, right? And it's for just... him, I think he's a perfectionist, so yeah. he might be able to do you it. You know what? You never know. You right? never know. Okay. All right. We're going to be watching. Thank you so much. Have, have a great an weekend. amazing weekend. Thank and you. I'll, I'll have your people call my people again. I know. Monday, <laughs> we're going to coordinate again. Yes, coordinate, coordinate. Okay. We'll be right back.